Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you four ways that you can use the new Tombow Mono Air Correction Tape in your project life. So I have cut down um, some of the Paper Cakes papers to use as like my cards and printed out my photos. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So for the first technique, all you have to do is take your Mono Air Correction Tape and you swipe some kind of wherever you think you want it. And what you can do, you can see I put it like right there. Um, what you can do is take a stamp and some stays on and you can stamp directly on top of where the correction tape is. So uh, we got donuts on February 1st so I'm going to stamp that right on where I put the correction tape. Like so. So you just let it dry for a minute and then you're good to go. You can also like stamp other things on here. It doesn't have to be like a date. It can be a phrase or any kind of stamp really, um, but I do suggest using the stays on. For the next technique, um, for this card, I'm actually going to use a three by four piece of acetate that I cut down, just in case I make any mistakes and I don't have to reprint the photo or anything like that. Um, so again, you take your correction tape runner, and I am going to just kind of layer the acetate on top of my photo and card, so I kind of know where to put the correction tape. And I'm just going to run this directly on top. That way my correction tape is on the acetate because I am notorious for like having really crappy handwriting and that's what we're gonna be doing is writing just a little phrase that goes with this picture. So this day we had like new security stuff and internet and all that stuff like installed at our house and the guy had to like access all the windows in the house. And of course, like my whole office is windows. So I had to like move everything. So that's why my office is a hot mess. So I'm just going to write just a little bit of journaling about that. Again, you kind of just let it dry for a second and then you can put it on top of your photo like that. Again, you could do this directly on your card, but I didn't want to risk like messing it up. So I've got the little photo overlay and I'm going to put this back in the pocket. For the third technique, we're going to be using another acetate sheet because we're going to create a photo overlay, just like a decorative overlay. So um, this is our dog standing on top of my son and it's a ridiculous situation and there's kind of a lot of like funky space around the photo that I couldn't really help so I'm just going to create like a, a decorative like border to kind of distract from all that like boringness. All right so I am going to layer this on top again just so I can kind of see where I want everything to be and I'm just going to do like some decorative lines up here to create just kind of a fun effect that just to kind of hide that stuff in the back, you know, that I don't really want there. Like so. And then you have kind of a cool overlay, right? So you can do all sorts of fun things with this. You can do borders or designs or whatever. And the cool thing about the Mono Air is on top of plastic, especially, because that's what this is. If you hold it like at a 45 degree angle and you go slow, it should be totally fine to do on the acetate. So I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this back in the pocket. And then for the fourth technique, all I did was make a larger area of white using the correction tape, and then took the same mono twin pen, did a little bit of journaling, and now I'm going to make like a shaker pocket. So the cool thing about doing it on the acetate is that it kind of disappears once it's you know, in the pocket. Oh, I did forget, I wanted to add a little embellishment on there. And here I'm just using my favorite permanent piece of plus, also from Tombow, because I love me some Tombow adhesives. Where do I want this? I think maybe just like right in the middle. And then you just pop that in there. It looks like the little doodad is floating. And then I made this little sequin mix that I'm just going to dump in here. And now we have a fun shaker pocket with journaling on it. So I think that's pretty cool. I might add some pink sequins in there. I will be right back with this all sealed up and I'll show you guys the final page. So this is how the whole spread turned out. I think it's super cute. Just to kind of recap on all of the little like pockets, I used the Mono Air. On this one, I stamped the date with some stays on. Here I used the Mono Twin to write a little bit of journaling. Here I used the correction tape again with some journaling but made a shaker pocket out of it by um, doing the 
journaling and whatnot on an acetate card. And then here I just used the mono air to make like a little decorative border. I'll make sure to head over to the Tombow blog if you want to see like some up close pictures and things. I will leave a link to that down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, you can do so by clicking right here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.